Hello, my people. It is Monday, the 30th of December, 2019. This is Sit Rep 21. So, we'll get right at it. Uh, there's no corrections today. I didn't make any mistakes last time. Hmm. Uh, symptoms, omissions, additions, and updates. Uh, the restless leg pills are not working. I think I might take them one more time tonight to see if there's any change tomorrow. And if there's not, I'm just going to stop taking them. I'm done with it. Um, my nausea is way up. Uh, my pills are mostly keeping it at bay. Um, but especially after I have a meal, two cartons of that liquid via my feed tube, plus a big glass of water. I think I'm just, with the air and all the liquid, I'm just bloated, and I feel nauseous as hell after I eat. That goes away after I burp a little bit, and everything settles down, so. And just for situational awareness, 5 December was when I started, uh, you know, eating exclusively through the feed tube, so. That's been, uh almost four weeks and we're going strong guys it's been a little scary a couple of times because they only deliver that stuff and uh it's got hung up in the mail several times so now i got like a double shipment so it should be good for quite a while i go through quite a bit of it six cartons a day One thing I haven't mentioned, but it's been pretty prevalent for the last two weeks or so, is upset stomach. Um, particularly in the evening, uh, it just seems like my, my belly's angry. And I've had to take Tums on, on many occasions just to kind of chill it out a little bit. Well, last night I tried to eat a little bit. We had, had chili dogs and fries. I cut the, the end off one of the hot dogs, put some mustard on it, try and bring the flavor up a little bit. And as soon as it got past mid-mouth, it was metallic mush. I didn't chew it in the front, so I don't know if it tasted like anything up front, but it smelled good. I threw a fry in my mouth just for the hell of it, and yeah, it was metal mush too, so absolutely disgusting. So the sore on my tongue has got worse. I don't know if you can tell if I'm kind of talking kind of weird right now. I have uh, this stuff called Magic Mouthwash that I I can use for all kinds of things, sore throat and stuff. Use it as a gargle. But right now I'm using it as a, a numbing agent for my tongue. And pretty much from right here back, the whole, this whole side of my tongue is completely raw. Um, I'm in a lot of pain from it. And it's making it difficult to swallow, make it, makes it impossible to chew. Uh, which, lucky for me, I'm not chewing on anything nowadays. And it makes it really difficult just to even talk, brush my teeth, all that stuff is painful. And right now my body is at a reduced level of being able to fight off anything. So that doesn't help. It's just having a really difficult time healing. Uh, they almost, almost canceled my chemotherapy today. They brought in a doctor to take a look at it. And luckily I think because I've been doing the mouthwashes and I've been doing the magic mouthwash that it looks like it's trying to heal a little bit. So luckily they kept up with my chemo uh, regimen and um, I only got two left. I'm like, what the hell, just keep going. I'll suck this up. I just want to get done. I want it to be as maximum effective as it can be. I don't want to put it off for a week. So we'll see what happens next week. That's my last chemotherapy. But um, yeah, so this thing is just making me absolutely freaking miserable. Um, one thing about too is this, this slime deep in my throat and the back of my tongue I am not capable and I don't know if this isn't just my tongue I'm not capable of getting rid of that anymore totally so I'm guessing that's part of the whole you know week six thing where you just, you're at the, 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 
epitome or, or the, the apogee of of uh, resistance and apogee of everything, all the symptoms that can happen to your body, and they all kind of crescendo at the six week mark. So, if that is what they meant, then that seems to be pretty much what I'm, what I'm experiencing right now too. So, it's good to know that this is uh, potentially as bad as it can get. I think I can I can ride this out for a little time, a little little bit. Um, man, when I left treatment Friday, I was absolutely wiped out. And I, I was, I don't know if I, I mentioned this before, but there's a thing called chemo fog. And chemo, and chemo fog, it's almost like you're, you're in a daze. And, it, and it's, it's a real deal. I mean, it's a real thing. It's like, I can't completely explain it, but it's almost like you're there, but mentally you're not. And it's not that you don't have thoughts and you're not aware of what's going on around you. It's just almost like everything is in slow motion. And you couldn't react quickly to anything even if you wanted to. I mean, it's just that kind of debilitating, uh, I don't know the word for it, kind of mode. Yeah, I guess you call it like a mode. The exact opposite would be popped up on caffeine and being like ready for anything. This is like you're, you're dumbed down, you're numbed down, and you are just beside yourself with numbness, void. So, yeah, so Friday I, uh, kind of walk like a zombie out to the car and I, we got out there and I was like, you got to drive. I wasn't even going to attempt to drive. There's no way. So thank God she came with me a lot. I, I feel bad dragging along. I haven't dragged along. I told her not, not to go. But she's afraid I'm going to get the thing in my legs where I can't feel the pedals, yada, yada. This, this instance on Friday, I did need her because I couldn't drive. I would have just gone to the hospital and found a chair and crashed out for a couple hours. Tried to make it home but she wasn't with me. So, one of the last things in this category is my short-term disability ends on 18 January, so that's when I'll stop getting paid. Um, what I've been getting is about half of my base pay, half of, half of my regular pay, in weekly installments. So, it hasn't been a total loss, it hasn't been real bad. Obviously, all my pay is great, but I'm not doing anything for it. So, I know, you know what I mean? And I don't even pay for it. Short-term short -term disability is paid for by my employer. So, but once that's up, and my Family Medical Leave Act, FMLA, is up around the same time, um, then, I, then I transition to long-term disability. And that can run all the way up until I collect Social Security, if, if, if it need be. Um, and that also pays 50 or 60% of my base pay on a monthly uh, basis, get a monthly check. But, so I already got the packet from the insurance company and, you know, it's like I have to fill some, some part of it out, my attending physician has to fill part of it out, the doc, and then my employer has to fill part of it out. So I sent off the employer stuff to my employer, medical stuff to the doc, I filled out my portion. And the doc already returned theirs. And I just sent it off like Thursday. Today's Monday. So they already sent it back. And um, to my surprise, it said, I, that, like, they, I, I'll be out. I'll be dis disabled potentially until next September. I was like, what? October to September, I'd be completely down, man down. I, I, I kind of, that kind of took me aback. You know, I was kind of like, you got to be kidding me. But... I guess they're thinking, now remember, 30 days after I end treatment, I go on a PET scan, and that will decide, that'll figure out whether I'm cleared or not, right? Whether we beat this, this thing or not, and if it's spread anywhere. So technically speaking, I mean, I, I, could, I could be, you know, 
potentially in line for surgery in 120 days if, if this thing isn't gone. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of like, man, I, now I don't know. I don't want to rush back to work, but I don't want to sit around with my thumb in my ass for, you know, another four months. That's ridiculous. So I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put my put my faith in whatever's going to happen is going to happen. It's out of my hands. And uh, just go with the flow. That's kind of all I can do. It's, it's really, you have to kind of humble yourself and, and realize that, you know, there's more at, at play here than just what you want, you know, I guess. So technically speaking, upcoming events and uh, appointments. I have one more chemo treatment left. That's next Monday. And just six more radiation treatments and I'm done. So I'm a short timer. So for you guys that aren't military, so being short means back back in the day when you used to do like tours of duty in Korea, in Germany, it is anywhere from one to three years. And when you got within like a hundred and something days, there was this calendar you get. It's kind of big. Have an airplane on it and then have at the end some of them, the cool ones had like a helmet and just like a pair of boots. And had a, a countdown blocks, 100 days, 199 days, 98 days, 97 days, all the way down. It's usually like 120 days down to zero, 100 days down to zero. And so once you got down to like 99, then you were two digit midget, right? Because you had only two digits of days. All the way down until you got to nine days, then you were a one digit midget. And people would say you're short. You're so short you can't even see over the curve. That's how short you are. You have short time remaining until you go home, right? That's a short timer. So. I am a one-digit midget with six days, six treatments to go. So I am so short, I can't even see over the curb. And I can't wait till it's over, I gotta tell you. And I would be remiss if I didn't say happy a new year to all of you folks from all of us. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I wanna take 2019 and see it in the rearview mirror. Because 2019 was just a, a hellstorm for me. Um, a lot, of, a lot of good things happened in 2019, but obviously my, I was diagnosed in 19. Um, everything at work went well, but it wasn't without challenges, and it was there were some pucker moments um, in some of the stuff I was I was doing and coordinating. So we were able to pull it off, but you know some of that stuff I'm just I'm at the uh, I'm at the will of other people using their equipment, so um, I was able to keep the team and, and my chain of command happy, so that's good. Keep the program on rails, but uh, yeah, that was uh, that was an ass kicker. So I'm ready to get into 2020 and all the what do you call it, Capricorn, Capricorn of goodness that it's going to bring. So. So that's all I got, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, Happy New Year to you and yours. And uh, we'll see you in 2020. All right? Take care.